Lots of people at the LSU Lakes are a place of peace and calmness, but over the past week, they've become a sort of hunting ground. Unfortunately, our Elizabeth Bourgeois is out at the LSU Lakes right now to tell us what is going on that has a lot of folks concerned out there. Hey, Lizzie. Yeah, guys, community members and students alike come every day to feed and see the ducks that hang out here on the LSU lakes. But unfortunately, lately, the ducks have an unexpected predator. I come to feed the ducks every uh, afternoon. I started back in July 2022 when uh, my wife was sent home in hospice care. This was kind of a mental break for me. For John Newman, these ducks are more than just birds. I don't have any kids, so they're kind of my children. Back in 2022, after Newman's wife lost her battle to cancer, these ducks became his companions. That's Goldie. That's the one I was telling you about. It's tough realizing this is the end. There's nothing else they can do. And so I just needed to get away. I'd been taking care of her around the clock, so I started coming over here for about a half hour each day and feed the ducks. But during one of his recent visits, he noticed something disturbing. There was a male Muscovy that had a blow dart through its neck. The other two that I have seen still have the darts in them. Wildlife and fisheries agents tried to round up the injured ducks. They were able to catch five of them, but there are still some out there. LSU Vet School had to euthanize one of them. Another should be able to return to the lakes soon. I'm pretty sure it's just kids thinking it's fun, but it's not. You know, these are animals, they have feelings, and uh, they just don't think about it. Newman is keeping an eye on the ducks that are still impaled with darts. He says they seem to be eating and going about their business, but he's worried how much longer they can handle it. It went from a peace of mind kind of thing to almost a sense of dread to come see what's happening today. Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries is investigating what these incidents. Um, Louisiana Humane Society is offering a thousand dollar reward for anyone who has any information on who is shooting the ducks. If you have any information, you can call the Louisiana Humane Society, Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries, or the LSU Vet School. We'll have all that information linked on our Nine News app. At the LSU Lakes, Elizabeth Bourgeois, WAFB, Nine News. All right, we hope they get some answers. Thank you. Appreciate it. Lawmakers at the state capitol 